Ocean Fishing is getting a spotlight in Final Fantasy XIV with new updates adding it to the Mog Pendium for the Moogle Treasure Trove event and putting it on the radar for a lot of newer players and bringing veteran players back to doing it regularly. Ocean Fishing is also great for leveling your fishing jobs, getting titles, mounts, minions, and scripts. My name is Bun and today we're going to master the basics of Ocean Fishing. We will go over general gearing, spectral current procs, intuition fish, buffs throughout the voyage, and go over websites that are useful for ocean fishing to be able to get you started as quickly as possible. Ocean Fishing is an instance event that you can join in Limsa Lomenza every two hours on the even hours, so 8am, 10am, 12pm, and so on. You can queue for the voyage from this NPC here from start to about 15 minutes past, but usually you'll get in within a few seconds or minutes. This is a 24 man instance voyage to where you want to catch as many as fish as possible in each of the three different locations. Once you unlock Fisher and then unlock Ocean Fishing Quest after your first job quest, you can queue for Ocean Fishing. You will use specific bait for each specific route. There are many different goals to hit within ocean fishing in each voyage. There are two routes to choose from and you can choose either as a beginner fisher to start off. Before you go on your first voyage, let's get outfitted first. You will first want to buy a stack of each kind of bait. This only comes out to about 2376 skill, so it's fairly cheap to get started. The main stat you want to worry about is GP, as perception and gathering have little value here. You will need food that gives you GP. If you're new to fishing but farther in the game, you can buy crab cakes or peppered potatoes, but anything that gives you a little extra GP will do. You will need cordials, which can most easily be gotten from the market board. Don't forget to shop around for the cheapest price. You can also get these through Grand Company seals from your Grand Company NPC, or you can even get these using bicolor gemstones if you're a non-crafter or gatherer, and this is your first time using the job. Bicolor gemstones can be got by doing Fates and Shadowbringers and Endwalker and then purchase them through vendors. Let's talk XP. Ocean fishing can power level your fisher job in no time. Stacking XP is really important. You will want a food buff and an FC buff on the bare minimum. You can also get the squadron buff, which gives you tons of experience for your gatherers. You can either get these through the Grand Company by using Grand Company seals, or if you're already a crafter or gatherer, you can use some scripts and buy the upgraded version of them from a scripts vendor. There are also some experience items that work well, the Helm of Light, the Friendship Circlet, and Alamegan Earrings as some examples. You can also hit that like button and subscribe for that extra secret forbidden in-game XP. The next thing you want to make sure to have while you're doing this is the website called Lulu Tools. That happens to be the most straightforward website once you understand it. Opening the website, you'll have upcoming voyages. And when you scroll down, you can see the next route that is available and what bait you need. You can also filter to the top right bar, which can be used to filter by high value fish, intuition fish, time sensitive fish, and all fish. Go to the all fish and see the breakdown of baits, baits times, and any conditions if necessary for catching them. This first top portion is the regular fishing and then the rest down here is the fish you can catch during the spectral currents. Using this, you can kind of see how many points each fish give you and which ones you want to go for in order to maximize and double hook and triple hook when you know it's going to be a really good fish. So in a nutshell on this website, these two bottom ones are the most important because that's what's going to proc the spectral current. And then all of these down here are important so you can see which ones to go to for the highest points during the spectral current. You can also use another resource called the Fisherman's Discord, aka Fish Cord. I'll make sure to drop the link in the description box and they have a myriad of articles, information, documents that you can deep dive into if you want to get into the more advanced techniques of ocean fishing. Let's take this route, the Northern Strait of Mirth Lore, for example. It is split into Southern, Galadian Bay, and Northern. In the Southern region, you'll want to use Krill in order for the chance to capture the spectral discus. In this particular example, which would proc a spectral current for everyone. Luckily, it's not just up to you to proc these, but anyone catching this fish can proc the spectral current, although the chance is very low. But the idea is the more people, 24, trying to catch that fish, the more often it's going to proc. In the five runs that I've done, I got at least spectral currents one to two times each run, and only one of those times did I get it on all three sections. These spectral currents last about two minutes and can be extended to three minutes. The goal is to just keep catching as much as possible in order to stack the points. If you're leveling, all you need to worry about is using chum to shorten the time and catching the fish. If you are at later level fisher and have the abilities, this is where you can be double hooking and triple hooking the bait times in order to catch the really large fish that are going to give you tons of points and trying to finish your voyage goals. 
there is three per voyage. The first two are always similar or the same, capturing a certain type of fish for the first one, capturing a certain rating of fish, like three to five stars in a certain amount of time, and you can usually hit that during the spectral proc. And the last goal is always a combination of capturing a one, two, three exclamation mark fish a certain number of times. The exclamation marks do not determine the rating, but the size of the fish. Once a spectral current is procced, you may want to switch bait in order to capture different fish with higher value. So let's take our early example. You would use krill to try and capture the spectral discus, but once it's procced, you could switch to ragworm to go for the sea nettle to get more points or even triple hook a sea nettle, which will give you a thousand points. If you change to the all fish, you can see the sea nettle uses the bait ragworm and has a time of 6.5 to 8 seconds until you see an exclamation mark. If you throw your line and all of this indicates it's a sea nettle, you can use a double hook or triple hook in order to pull in two to seven of them. This is just one example, but you have to be wary that there's other fish that have similar windows and if you use chum before, it will also decrease the timing. So it's more for advanced fishers who really want to go for the highest points possible. You do have buffs that can happen during your voyage, which can be indicated by a gold storm, which is birds flying by, and dolphins, which will swim by. The NPC will announce it, and you'll receive either the buff, gold storm, increased large fish chance. I'm going to butcher this word, cetaceous or cetaceous, which increases your GP regeneration, and auroral flipper, increased spectral current trigger chance. Dolphins will always give the cetaceous speed, but can also give you auroral flipper if you haven't had a spectral current proc yet when they come by. The next thing to be aware of is the intuition fish, which is essentially catching a specific quantity of specific fish that will then allow you to catch an even more unique fish. This is indicated by a heartbeat kind of sound, and there's always two at every stop, one in the normal and one inside the spectral current proc. The conditions vary on these and unless you know exactly which bait to use and actually have it, as some do require bait outside of the three we've already mentioned. Even if you just went in and threw the rod, double hooked, triple hooked every so often, more than likely you probably can get enough points to get the mounts which is 10k, after a few tries and some lucky runs. Between the few runs I've already landed are usually between 7 and 9k with very little knowledge on my part. I quickly realized that ocean fishing, it can get extremely complicated and meticulous when going for certain achievements and goals, and you'll likely have to do it quite a bit of research and focus intentional fishing in order to acquire some of these. It is one of those activities though that the more you do it, it becomes infinitely easier to understand and get points, especially if you have the Lulu's Tools website open. There are 5 minions, 1 mount, and 14 titles, so there's a good chunk of rewards attached to it. You can also get tons of XP, white scripts, and purple scripts from ocean fishing after unlocking the relative quest. You need to be level 50 and higher on both fisher and a combat job and complete the inscrutable taste quests in order to get scripts as rewards. Purple scripts will only be given at max level when you catch certain fish like intuition fish. Now hopefully this can get you through the bulk of your ocean fishing adventures. I myself took an alt through it and got 7k with essentially no abilities and grew 20 levels in just one run. I then swapped to my main character and ran it a few times and on my like third or fourth time I got 9,800 points and no I'm not freaking bitter about it at all since 10k gets you the super cool shark mount. This just goes to show you if someone like me can almost do it you probably can definitely do it. Thank you to my monthly Patreon, YouTube, and Discord supporters as your support really helps me keep this channel running as well as all of you that drop a like and sub on the videos to help support the channel. My name is Bun and if you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides, you can watch here.